Hi everyone, today I would like to introduce you to Gizem. Uh, she's doing an internship at OFCI since the end of September and she's going to tell you more about how it's going on, how to apply and many things. Uh, maybe we should start first uh, with this place. What is this place? This what do you think about this place? This place is Park Barbio. Normally it's really good, really nice atmosphere now as the, as the weather is not quite good for me. It's a bit cold and foggy. But normally it's perfect. Yeah, during summertime it's yeah. an amazing place to do picnic and many activities, exactly. sport activities. Before they even had on this small lake out there, they had like uh, some small ships, like the one you can, uh, like bike ship. I don't know how to say in English. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Gizem, could you introduce yourself, please? Sure. I'm Gizem, I'm from Istanbul, Turkey. I just graduated from Istanbul University. And now I'm doing my Erasmus Plus internship at OFCI. Okay, how did you find out about this internship opportunity, by the way? Like, because we are a small organization in a small city, not so famous in France. Like, how did you find out? Uh, when I had this opportunity to, to do my Erasmus Plus internship, I searched a lot. I searched uh, for at least five months, maybe more than five months. And finally, I found the website of OFCI. And then I applied uh, from the website of OFCI and it was quite easy. It was convenient to apply from OFCI. Okay, website. can you explain maybe a bit more about this apl application process? Of course. Uh, first, as I said, I applied uh, from the web website and then uh, I received a mail from you and uh, we had our first interview. Then. Uh, after you decided to hire me, uh, we did another interview uh, and it was about more what will we do, uh, what, is, what, what we are doing at OFCI. Okay, so it was not so complicated? No, not, not at all. So you see guys, if you want to apply for an internship, there is nothing complicated, it's not rocket science. <laughs> so just go on our website, make a traineeship, you fill the form, after we'll have an interview, maybe a written test, depends how many applicants we have, the test uh, might differ. So I would like to know now, what do you like the most about your traineeship experience? Uh, I like the most that uh, we always, with young people, we always meet some people, uh, sometimes we are doing door-to-door -door and we are uh, meeting people uh, around the neighborhood of OFCI and sometimes we are going to universities. Sometimes when we have, for example, uh, at, on uh, August, we had, on August, right, we had a uh, youth, youth exchange. And, October. Uh, on October. Time is going so fast. <laughs> yes. And the weather was really good, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, in October we yeah, had this youth really exchange. Good. Uh, and, and we met so many people from another countries. It was so good. And also yeah, yeah. recently we went to Rome. It was perfect for me. Uh, like it was an Erasmus Plus project again. Uh, we, met, uh, we met people uh, from Spain, uh, from Bulgaria, Bulgaria Italy. Italy, of course, Italian. Uh, it, it was, was a really transnational good. meeting for K2 project that we are working on about uh, revenge porn. Yeah, the, the topic was also really interesting, uh -huh. so it was really good. Okay, and except this winter humid weather, mm -hmm. what do you dislike the most about your traineeship experience so far? I think, like, uh, I cannot say except this because it's the main thing that I, I don't like about okay. France. Uh, so yeah, this, the, the, the weather of France. Okay, and the food? <laughs> Yeah, the food also because like, like yeah, I'm like, sure, like I know that you have really good cuisine, but uh, for me it's impossible to eat something because it's always with cheese or meat, and I don't like cheese uh, and meat, so sometimes okay. it can, I can't. What a shame. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and about all the things you learned so far, can you give us some examples? Sure. Uh, first, I learned how to uh, create a project. Even, even from the beginning, how to, how to be creative when you're designing a project, how, how to report it, how to uh, implement the project. Uh, like for example, uh, now we are working on a project uh, about uh, Tales. Tales uh, the, the name of the project is Tales of the Work. Uh, of the world, yeah. Of 
Tales of the World. I learned and how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. For video editing? Yeah, for video editing. But unfortunately, you didn't have so much practice so far. Y yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, we, we, we created one video together yes. only, but still it was good for me because I think uh, I'm not really good uh, at computer, so it's good to improve myself. What would you say about the working atmosphere at OFCI, working with me, working with volunteers? Mm -hmm. Working atmosphere is really good at OFCI because uh, there is really friendly atmosphere with you, for me, and when the volunteers come to office, it's, uh, it's even more uh, beautiful because uh, I, I meet people from France and I, I can improve my friends also. Yes. <laughs> now I started to learn French. So, Actually, yeah. we should thank very much the volunteers coming today uh, to help us with filming this video. Yeah, exactly. For because example. it's really very bad condition to work now. But they came with a big smile and uh, thank you so much again. Yes, yes, so, exactly. We always meet uh, some people who are really nice and helpful. Yeah. What kind of personality should you have to, to be a good intern at OFCI and to be happy at OFCI? I think uh, if, if you love to enjoy your life because it's really a uh, flexible uh, working uh, style and also you always meet, some, meet with some people so you should love to communicate I guess and you should be a bit creative because sometimes we design some projects uh -huh. so you should be a bit, uh, you should put your creativity creativity uh, on this project sometimes and it's yeah okay thank you so much what are your expectations for the until the end of your traineeship like what do you expect to do in France mm -hmm. on your at OFCI Tell my me. my first expectation is uh, improving my French I, I expect myself when I leave uh, this internship that when I leave this internship I will be able to speak at least a bit uh, French and also I want to improve myself on computer uh, things as I said uh, I started to do some video editing and stuff I I really uh, want to improve myself on it yeah okay thank you so much for giving us some explanation about your traineeship and telling us more uh, so as you listened I believe doing an internship at OFCI is an amazing opportunity for young people all around Europe and even in France so if you want to do like Gizem and join us, feel free to get in touch with me through the social media or through the website and uh, don't forget to apply and I will be very happy to get you know more and uh, make you go through the application process. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye. <laughs> Nicer than here, I hope. <laughs>